Anne Rice changed the way we looked at vampires. Before her, I don't believe there was anyone that uh, wrote the way she does. There was actually no first person. Uh, the actual thoughts of the vampire as he was going through his life and, you know, learning how to be a vampire. The writing of Interview with the Vampire was a total whim. I was just sitting there one evening and I thought, what would it be like to interview a vampire? And I wrote a 30-page story that night about a young boy interviewing a vampire and the vampire told him all kinds of secrets. It was fun. It was just terrific fun to explore the idea. What if you have him right here and you're interviewing him for FM radio and what, you know, what can you get him to reveal? I would love to believe that there are vampires. Yeah, I think it would be wonderful to, to have a, a witness to history. The framework of a fantasy enables us to get in touch with what matters to us. Life and death, grief, sorrow, beauty, loss, how to maintain faith in a world that seems to be a world without God.